since this is a ditch profile, uh, the design standards really won't um, won't be applicable here since that's more for roadway geometry. But we know that as this is going to be an unpaved ditch along a TxDOT facility, uh, we we do want to keep in mind that the TxDOT RDM's minimum is a 0.5% grade for these unpaved ditches. Um, so as discussed previously, the beginning of the existing ground profile is where the existing ditch section ends. So we want to make sure we connect to this. And so to do that, we will be using the profile line between points tool. That's going to be found once again under the geometry tab, the vertical section, and under the lines tool group, it's called profile line between points. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. I want to make sure I'm moving back into the correct feature definition, which is going to be ditch bottom center. Okay. And then since this is going to be helping me match the existing ditch section, I'm going to go ahead and snap to the beginning of this profile right at where the existing ground elevation is. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then for the second point of this profile line, I want to make sure I snap to the flow line of my extended culvert. So once the snap appears, I want to go ahead and do a second left click. Okay, and so since the chain command is set on, it's going to ask me where I want this next line. Actually, for this next line, I'm going to right click to remove the chain, and I'm going to go ahead and snap to this other side. So as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and snap to the bottom of this pavement sign, since we don't want our ditch going any higher than that. So make sure to snap there. And then for this long section of the ditch, I'm going to use, I want to, I want to make sure that I'm using that minimum slope. So to use that minimum slope, I'm going to use my right arrow key to change the parameter from length to slope. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in 0 0.5 and hit enter. That's going to lock the slope. And as you can see now, I can move my, the second point of my ditch, but this, or my ditch line, but it snapped at that slope. I'm going to go ahead and stop it, say maybe about here, and then right click. And then for that last line, I'm going to go ahead and snap to my flow line and come up and snap to the end of that, of that 0 0.5 slope line. And then right click once more to re remove the chain and then hit escape to move out of the tool. So as we can see here, I think the stitch line looks pretty good. Or right, we're going to complex our freshly created ditch profile and to do that we'll be using the profile complex by element tool once again found under the geometry tab the vertical group and we're going to be selecting the complex geometry so tools group so it's going to be under complex geometry profile complex by element so I'm going to left click that tool and then I want to make sure I give my name here for the for the profile, I'm going to call that L ditch underscore one underscore P for profile. As you can see, I'm kind of still in the rhythm of setting chain names that are geopack friendly. Um, but it is important to note that this is no longer necessary as ORD does not use that GPK file anymore. So you can put spaces, special characters, and you can do more than 13. But I guess for now, this is this is to my liking. So I'll leave it that way. So prompt is asking me to locate the first element. So I'll go ahead and select that first element. Make sure it's on the left on the leftmost side so that the direction runs the correct way. Left click that first element. Make sure that confirm that it grabs the entire profile. So I'll go ahead and left click to accept. So I'll hit escape to move out of the tool. And if I click on our profile, you can see that now the entire profile is all joined together.